So you guys have been hyping episode 158 immensely, and I know for a fact when it comes to Black Clover fans, you guys really only hype amazing stuff that's definitely worth the hype. So I'm super excited getting into these bunch of episodes, I really am. What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover episodes 156, 157, and 158. Now before we get into anything, I just want to let you guys know we are doing a three episode because 157 is mostly recap, so I might edit in the few minutes of original animation there is there, but other than that it's mainly going to be 156 and 158. And just so you guys are aware, if you guys don't know, with the first and last episode of every opening, normally it's season, but it's Black Clover Long Running Shonen, First and last episode of every opening, the full length version, which is normally available on Patreon only, is available for everyone for free. So make sure you go click the links in the top of the description. Go make sure you guys enjoy that free full length. If you guys do enjoy that and want to consider keeping that for the future, consider checking out that Patreon. Links are down in the description down below, like always. Other than that, come over to the Twitch. Also, as you guys can see by the chat, fantastic vibes, fantastic time. Um, you guys can also watch the full uncut length over here. Great vibes, great community. Other than that, follow the other social medias. We got Instagram. Twitter, and TikTok, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, you guys. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episodes 156, 157, 158. First one is called Awakening Powers. Let's do this. I am hype. Asa's normal thing of deflection doesn't work as well when he can just send it right back with the magic commands. It is very handy. But he uses that to get rid of like the lightning effect that's still on him. I like that. It's been days already, okay. I keep hyping him up immensely. Vanica, right? That was his name? Yeah. That's definitely a factor of it. There's multiple factors that I've gotten here, but his unwavering resolve is definitely one of the biggest. But yes. This is Floga, right? In terms of the Spirit Guardian? Yes. He said Leopold has more potential than him, so this is going to be crazy. Mm. I feel like a lot of the characters like Asta, Leo, are going to have some sort of mental block that's limiting them from actually getting a lot stronger, you know? So I feel like it's good we're getting some outside perspective on this. I like it a lot. That is a valid point. Seeing something like them? Yeah. That's a valid point. The stronger you get, the more you realize how strong they really are, you know? Very much like Endeavor and All Might. I like that. I really like that. That would definitely be a realistic mental block. Living in the shadow of someone you know you can't really surpass. Speak of the devil, look at this woman. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. And since he's been working on that. Okay. And he was able to do that the second time during the captain's fight in Dorothy's sleep world, dream world. And Mariliona is the queen. She was like the first true man as own we saw, you know, so. <laughs> There's no way you're being serious, right, Yami? Come on. Okay, I was about to say. He's like, oh, nope, actually, you're fucking crazy. I love shows with certain quotes that you just always will remember. Ergo, surpass your limits, you know, go beyond plus ultra. Mary Leona, I love her fighting style. She just throws hands, literally. Okay, they're cutting between two firefights. Gaj is one of my favorites. Asta, obviously the GOAT, Marileona, and Yami. Okay, this is really good. Knowing Asta, yeah. He's gonna keep going, right? What else is there to do but fight? Uh-huh. I mean, he has most definitely felt the flow of the anti-magic before. I know for a fact he's been able to feel it and then able to like manipulate where it goes. I love how their mana skin is outlined with like the, the color of their mana. Like his is purple, but hers is just engulfed in flames. 100%. That was a good 
try to be counter. I appreciate that. Oh, why would you cut right there? I needed to see that. Unlimited use of their mana. Look at this. That's actually insane. I mean, he's appropriating that mana from the nature, but it makes sense. Like, it's actually insane, yeah. What are we gonna do? Okay, this is crazy. The times that they're cutting back and forth. Are we gonna be able to do that? Because I've always loved how Merleo can do that. Change directions mid-air by kicking off it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if all of your swords still had powers. We really haven't done that since then. I thought we would be doing that like crazy after that. I really thought we... Wait, can we put nature mana in that? But you need normal mana to be able to feel the nature mana, right? Or are he going to... Hmm. Is he going to absorb the enemy's mana? Okay. Okay, okay, Yami. I mean, you can't do it quite as quickly as her. I know, equal ground, but I'm not gonna say. Talk about awakening powers, holy smokes. All right, all right, Rudy from Mushoku, Cumulo Nimbus, chill out. That's actually broken once they can learn how to do that. I know it's an advanced skill, but it's very handy in a lot of situations. It's kind of like Naruto being able to run on water, run on walls, all that. You know, just being able to use your mana in those kind of situations. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What are you, night guy? What is this? Eighth gate? What is going on? What the hell? We got Night Guy and we got Cumulo Nimbus. Is it gonna be a mana zone one? Oh, he's just cutting right through it straight front. Okay. And we were able to do an actual anti magic slash. I did not think he was able to infuse that with anti magic, so. That's pretty damn nuts that we have some sort of range projectile. <laughs> Talk about self-gratification. That was actually insane. I mean, think about it. He just learned a little bit more about Mana Zone and how to walk on the air to do the air kick. I love her, how she just explains stuff like that. Noel and Nero have grown the most? What do you- they're already- I mean, yeah, that makes sense, but Noel was already S-tier fighter. I need all of them to be Pokemon gym leaders. I would battle all of them. He is our trump card. In his own way, he most definitely is. I'm s this this salute this is only a clover kingdom thing right like the heart kingdom doesn't have their own salute i'm curious about that spade kingdom garrison whoa 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 what is this elden ring why do they have walking mausoleums like that Ralph. So who is investigating? Who is spying on the... can reach the Clover Kingdom? Ralph, huh? I'm so curious. And they're investigating the Spade Garrison. This is the, the ma uh, mana region that, um... What's her name? And the rest of the devil worshippers that, you know, went through as well. So it makes a lot of sense. Your friend told us all about you? Oh, okay, they're imbuing the rest of their mana within him. Ralph, you gotta you gotta carry on their will in your father's footsteps, okay. 
Now, I wonder who his father, who they were talking about with their daughter. I can't let the... Yeah, I agree with you. I, 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 who is his father? Have we seen him before? Have we seen his father before? I'm very curious. He has red hair. Hair color is very big in this show, you know, in terms of identifying family members. So that's the only... I'm just so curious every time we meet a new character like this. That would be very, very risky jumping in an icy river like that. Huge gamble, but it's all you can do. Hmm. Hmm, I'm curious about that. Lord, you know, he said. I am my father's son, somebody's precious daughter, Spade Castle, Lord, you know. That's the, like, the tablet, the tablet. What the hell? Talk about Vanica and Meg Megacula. Hey, this is getting juicy, guys. What the hell? This is getting juicy. All right, getting into the recap episode. I'm going to be skipping probably intermittently through this one, but this is a mainly a recap episode, just so you guys are aware. Not just ours. Hell yeah, it was a good one. Good. Now, the whole day is gonna end, because Asta's never gonna be satisfied, but I'm down. Oh, -ho. speaking of a fantastic character, Miss Goat herself. Ooh, she clean with it! Ooh Noelle's too clean with it! Oh my goodness gracious, Missy. You do not need to snap that hard. Who told you to be like that? Yeah, Leo, Asta, Charlotte, Mimosa, Luck, Rill, Finra, Charmy. Everyone's all improving. We really got a squad. We really got a squad. <laughs> Gordon's training with his dad. Everyone else is doing their own thing, you know. Speak of the devil, look at this man. Who was that? I didn't even get to see. Was that Yami? I didn't even get to see who that was. Hey, fucking split that boulder in two. Okay, Tanjiro. Good dodges. <laughs> Way to use. <laughs> Say, I agree. Same trick will not work again, but I love how quickly he's able to incorporate it into it like a little combo. Tenjiolia. It's been a minute since I heard this. It's been a little bit. Is the devil. Come on. And we've heard about Megacula. We heard about... I forgot the name of the first one we actually killed. But... What is going on with Asta's particular devil? I need to know more. I need to know more, guys. Draw that power out. Come on, Gaja. Draw that power out. Draw that power out. Oh. Are you serious? That's all you're going to give me? You. S oh, I hate this show. Truthfully do. Truthfully hate it with all my being. All right, on to episode 158. This one is called The Beginning of Hope and Despair. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Is these what those walking mausoleums are? If you guys have played Elden Ring, you know what a walking mausoleum is, but why the fuck do they have these? Giant mobile fortress? Candelo? Candelo. This is... Are they absorbing the mana of... <laughs> Okay, this is horrible. So he has like acid magic? Okay. Please don't look at me like that. Even if it's a child? Okay, Undine's getting a little spying in, I hope. Okay, Noelle's new haircut? Okay, Missy? 
Looking bomb. Okay, Leo's got a new fade too? He got new fits as well? How long has it been? Okay, Mimosa. Oh, she got a new haircut. I was about to say hasn't changed, but she's always amazing. But I like the haircut. I like the hairdo. Yeah, that mobile fortress seems pretty fucking crazy. You know, but we also do have our own. The Black Bulls Fortress. Guys, are they doing what I think they're doing? Are they doing what I think? The thing of what I think of what I'm thinking of what I'm thinking of what I'm thinking? Is he flying on his fucking sword? Am I just now realizing this? What the? F Guys! I'm, I can't even focus on these poor people getting brutalized because I'm so distracted by Asa's fucking pectorals. Okay. 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 This guy in particular? Oh, I didn't think we're actually gonna show up right here. I know we were talking about... Okay, Kratos, Thor. My man has a type. My... The fact that we're able to recall the Demon Slayer sword immediately. I do like his, like, armor magic. I really like the way it's animated, how it, like, overlays upon each other, you know? But it's literally useless in the face of the sword. Guys, this man Asta... This man Asta can flick his finger and they'll go flying. That's not stop. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, no hesitation either. Oh, the recall immediately with the double slash right through the projectile. <laughs> Ost is so quick with it now. We got the range, we got the speed, we got the attack strength. I was about to say, he's probably going to deflect this one, huh? As soon as you see him swinging it wide like a baseball bat, he's deflecting it. Yeah, buddy, that was a smarter idea. <laughs> you see the way that guy's face looked? Oh, I can't. I thought Vanica was the only devil possessed, though. I know they said he has eerie magic, but I don't know. Is he act also? Oh, wow. Now, is that... The look of it, it's poison, but it easily could just be some sort of paralysis, you know? Poison creation. Basilisk breath. So it's a... It's an air type of poison. That's crazy strong. This guy even looks kind of like Gordon, to be honest. Oh, but hey, yup. The demon destroyer will most definitely get out of that. He said, you're a baby devil. He's... He said, you're a bitch devil. Oh, okay. Okay. Asta don't play no more. Asta is no longer playing. Asta has disconnected. Yeah, you guys showed up. Thanks for coming, I guess. But Asta literally single-handedly took care of it. So she can fly with the Valkyrie armor. She can bring others in the water bubble. Super handy. They're probably... Oh my god. After a training arc too, they're probably all S-tier mages. They could probably do such cool things. I need to see. I need to see all of them fight. Oh my god. Finra will never change. He might actually be inflicted with a curse. He literally might actually be.
Asa's a, Asa's a good wingman. Good friend. Princess Healing Flower Paradise, a multi -he Oh my god. Talk about who I need in my life. I get tired from watching a couple of reactions. She boosts me up for five minutes. I'm back to go watch ten more episodes of Black Clover. God damn. Damn, they really did. They really just murdered. They really just butchered anyone. Please, please let me see him though. Please let me see him fight. Luck and Leo. Oh my god. Two that I need to see the most. Okay. We're making moves on the Spade Kingdom. Fuck them dudes. I like it. I like it. Please show me some magic. Please show me some magic. Yep. Let's go. This man Luck could probably take care of these guys by himself. Talk about quicker than ever. Okay, jumping off the... Ooh, that guy's dead. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to see. Thank you, Black Clover. You never cease to amaze me. That man, Leo. <laughs> I actually have liked Leo since literally the moment I met him. As soon as he was one of the first noble royals to say, to call Asa as his rival, you know, I was down. But she is still cursed. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. That is a valid point. That is a very valid point. They're just so much, they're so used to war, you know? Yeah. I just feel so bad them having that mentality because they're so used to just horrible situations, you know? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The Dark Triad? The Dark Disciples and the Dark Triad? Pretty fucking crazy names. The Devil's Power? Zenin? Oh, so we got mad Devil Power. So the guy who just used a... The... I recognize this guy's voice actor, and I really like it. Dante! Like, Dante's Inferno? Big bro, Dante? Wait, she's Vanica? I thought our main boy was Vanica. Oh, so Dante is even something else if Laura Pechka and Undine couldn't handle Vanica. Okay, they're hyping these guys up as about as hype as you can make them. They're hyping them the fuck up. Ralph made it. Are we gonna finally get some info on Yuno? How much time we got left in this episode? Oh no. We're gonna get it next episode or later. If it ends right, I'm fighting some. I'm beefing, man. I Talk about a couple of episodes. Oh my lord. I cannot lie to you. 155 or 156, because that's the one we started with. I damn near forgot what happened, just because of how good this episode was. I'm just kidding, I obviously do remember. It was Yami and Mariliona, Gaja and Asta and the training and what's leading into this, and it was perfectly well executed in terms of, we know we have the potential, we know we can do this, we only need time, we need the right perspective, and we need the right tutors. And we had all of that, we had a great scenario, situation in which we can get stronger, and they utilized it, to the maximum and as efficiently as they can. Asta is a literal unit. When this man flew in and they showed only showed a glimpse of him, I was like, no. Are we really at time skip time? Is it really there? Are we really there? And we're there and we're full fledged, we're full sending it. Asta, everyone, 
as I'm, I'm also the biggest in terms of physical changes physically but i'm sure especially seeing leopold and luck they're all absolutely s tier mages now and i am so excited to see some of them in action especially because they got hyped up which i'm like oh yeah oh, i'm there i'm there but also the enemies got hyped up we got the dark triad the dark disciples whatever they were called and vanica dante and zenin xenon so like we are i didn't even turn this off <laughs> so you guys can still see this but fantastic episodes loved us it's literally like naruto ship it in they gotta give you a teaser make you guys so hyped that like i just I technically am kind of watching it week by week, but imagine watching it week by week going from 157, the little recap, to 158. Oh my god, I can't even imagine what you guys probably felt like. Such good episodes. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to come over to the Twitch if you guys want to watch this live with us. Great community, great time. Other than that, follow all the other social medias and check out that Patreon. All the links are in the description down below. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.